As a TAPS participant, you have the option to market your production in a variety of ways. We'd like to take a few minutes to show you those options, as well as to show you how to use the TAPS online participant portal. All sales are limited to the following five types. So the five sales types are spot or cash sale, forward contract, basis contract with delivery at harvest, simple hedge to arrive, or the futures contract. So we're gonna go a little more into depth into each of those. Um, we'll start by getting into um, your online portal page. After you log in, this is what you see as a participant. So first we're gonna talk about spot sales or also known as cash sales. These sales occur the day of harvest or the final date of the contest. So the following information is requested on this form. The date, which is the date of the sale, which should also be the current date. The price per bushel your quantity or how many bushels you want to sell, and then the delivery point or location that you're selling to. So that is your spot cash sale option. The second option you have is forward contract. These sales are defined more specifically as contract cash price for harvest delivery. Um, again, no post harvest deliveries are available and it's at any location that offers new crop prices and any number of bushels can be sold. So on this form, your required information includes your transaction date again, your contracted value or um, price per bushel, your quantity or bushels sold, and your delivery point or the location of where you're going to submit it. Your third option for marketing is the basis contract with delivery at harvest. It is a two part entry. So the first part will set a basis value for a designated number of bushels to a specified location for a harvest delivery. That's your basis contract initiation. The second part is a corresponding futures price, which is needed to complete the transaction. So it sets your dollars per bushel. The futures price is selected anytime between when the basis contract is initiated and the final marketing date of the contest. If no selection is made or this basis contract completion is not completed at the final marketing date of the contest, then the new crop contract settlement price on that date is used. This transaction does require two entries, as we said. Um, the first is this initiation. And on the initiation side, you have to select your date of transaction your contracted basis, price locked in, your bushel quantity, and delivery point location. Um, then to complete this initiation, you have to do the completion. And on the completion, you have to enter the date of transaction, the futures price, the date of your original basis contract initiation, and then also the quantity and bushels you want to sell. The next option is a simple hedge to arrive initiation and completion. This allows the seller to lock in the futures market portion of a cash grain contract. This is often done with the local elevator. Any numbers of bushels may be contracted and are tied to a specific delivery point at the time of harvest. The basis will be determined at a later date. Any basis not determined before harvest will be charged at the harvest basis of the default elevator on the final marketing date of the contest. There is a fee of three cents per bushel. So this marketing option also has two parts. Um, first is the simple hedge to arrive initiation where the futures market price and delivery point are set. So this portion includes the date of transaction or the date of hedge, the December's future contract price, number of bushels contracted, and delivery point location. Then the next one would be the simple hedge to arrive completion, which is made to select the basis price and date, along with the date and bushels hedged in the initiation transaction. 
So the cash price for the hedge to arrive contract is the initial futures price minus the selected basis. The last option for marketing to be discussed is a standard hedge using futures contracts. This is done using new crop futures contract only. As a producer to hedge, you would take a short position, the sell of futures contracts. This position is later offset by taking a long position, buying the same type of futures contract back. These sell and buy transactions must be done before or at the final marketing of the contest. This method of marketing will not have any delivery point, location, or basis. The bushels used in the hedge may only be sold after the offset where the seller no longer has a position in the futures market. Once the grain is no longer hedged, it may be sold, forward contracted, etc. All hedges which are not offset by the contest close or the completion page filled out will be sold to the default elevator at the day's posted price on the final day of marketing. There is a $30 per contract for each entry and each exit with a $60 total fee per contract. Hedging requires two different entries. First, an initiation entry to sell a contract or take a short position. This requires the date of transaction, the December futures price, the number of contracts or 5,000 bushels per, per contract, um, so the number of bushels, and then your second entry will be your futures contract completion. And this is made to offset the future short position by changing it to a long position by buying an equal number of contracts on any date between the contract initiation date and the contest marketing final date. This second entry is referred to as a futures contract completion. This offsetting transaction requires a date, the number of contracts to be offset, and the futures price of the buy. As stated previously, if no completion is entered, futures will be set on the close of futures trade on the contest last marketing date with any unsold grain being sold for the spot cash price at the specified default elevator on the final day of the contest marketing window. So we hope um, this sheds some light on the marketing aspects of the TAPS competition. Um, another resource um, that you can look into especially about futures markets is at this website and if you have any questions in regards to any of this or how to enter marketing decisions please contact crystal roads at crystalroads.unl.edu